Sí. Confirmar con tu mami te va a sonar. Hey, how are you guys? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Very well. Great. Great to hear that. Okay. So how was the day? Uh, you stayed at home, uh, slept in late. Enjoying the rain. Right. And the cold weather too. Not just the rain, but... Yes. Well, I don't know, but, <laughs> but my house, I, it's a change in temperature. Mm-hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. But it was, it felt good. I felt, I almost felt like when I go to the volcanoes and it's, it's at night or cool, then I say, ah. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. I like the cold weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Okay. You know, uh, many people say that it's, um, I think the cold weather is, is easier because it's easier to be warm then the hot weather, when it's hot, exactly. uh, mm -hmm. it's so difficult to stay cool or to feel comfortable. You feel sticky and you're moving and it's not, mm -hmm. it's not nice sometimes. Mm -hmm. no. no, I don't like the hot weather. Mm. And, and, and I said that to a friend the other day, I said, when, when it's cold weather, you can put one, you can wear clothes on lace, mm -hmm. one leg over that, another one, another one. But when you're hot, there is a point where you cannot take out the rest of your clothes. Even if you can, sometimes you cannot remove your skin and still are feeling hot, hot so that I don't like. It. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. With, with <laughs> we all hate. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. But today is the day to be drinking, you know, like hot chocolate or staying at home or in, in bed watching movies, kind of things like that. My son was trying to convince me for, to ask for pupusas. He said that the weather is for pupusas. And I said, my dear son, for you every day is for pupusas. <laughs> no. <laughs> for pupusas and hot chocolate, right? That's what they say. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí. Sí, but no. No, no, no. It's not healthy. We will wait a little snow. When we have snow, I will believe that. <laughs> Coach. Yeah, yeah, I'll yes, say. You're right. You say, you say you used to live in the States, right? Yeah, correct. That's correct. Okay. Isn't it wonderful to be here and be able to eat pupusas with chocolate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Maria, yeah, we were just talking to it. It's yeah, nice. I think you can, you can understand that feeling, right? Yeah. Like with, in the United States, when you have beans and you have fresh cheese with some, like, uh, tortillas asadas, mm -hmm. and that's, that's so good. Yeah. yeah it's like... You can never uh, experience that feeling uh, unless you are over there. You know, you, you crave that uh, typical food so bad. Yeah, in when the I went, yeah, the, the, that exactly that type of lunch or that type of, of food that is, I don't know. I, I think it's so typical for Salvadorians: a fresh piece of cheese, an avocado, and, and just two or three tortillas, and we can have lunch and we enjoy it so much. But yes. It, you don't have that in the States because they don't have that type of cheese. They don't have those types of ingredients. And so, you know, you, you just have that, the typical food that they have, but I don't know. I, I feel so delicious with, when, when we have that, or even for breakfast, you know, you have uh, the typical, I think, I have to say, I think our breakfasts are one of the best really because we have like a typical, the fried plantain, the beans, the cheese, the coffee, the, the bread rolls. I mean, I, I really think the, the eggs, I, I think, you know, Salvadorians have a great breakfast. <laughs> we do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, you know, everybody has different, but I, 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 for me, I, I really enjoy this, these, the, these big breakfasts. 
And mm. sometimes you don't need a big lunch. Exactly. Exactly. Because if you have a big breakfast, you don't need a big lunch. Yeah. Or if you have a late breakfast. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, today we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, we only have today and tomorrow. Um, I think uh, yesterday many people said they had already finished the platform. Um, is there anybody here who hasn't or who has difficulty still with uh, a section of the, of, of the platform? Now is a good moment to ask or check any questions or any sections that you still have problems with. Um, on the final test. Okay, let's take a look. Final test. Uh -huh. um, thanks a lot for your, how do you say it, to, for poner, ponerse la orden? Ah, eh, for being available. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> okay. <laughs> it's funny me. when you have heard the, a phrase and you don't have it on your lengua, in your tongue. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done with the, um, with the listening. I'm on the section B about Florence. I, I'm having troubles. I, I write down Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate, period. But I think it's okay, but it gave me a mistake. I don't know if I made a mistake. I have tried in different ways. Also the number four with Istanbul. I Do write down East. So tell me. I, I think I think I, uh, I, in number two, you're missing on foot because in the sentence it says on foot. Uh, Florence is a small city. That ah, is yeah, you're right. That is easy to navigate on foot. You're, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're correct. Mm -hmm. okay. And don't forget the period. Yeah, what about Istanbul? Istanbul, comma, which is the home of the Grand Vassar Great Shopping. Okay. Without comma. Without comma. Yes. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Okay. You, you, you need a trophy. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Try it. Uh, I used comma. Yeah, I was going to... Same problems. Same problems. I don't know why. Florence is a small city that is easy to navigate on foot, period. Istanbul, which is the home of the Grand Vassar, has great shopping. Uh, and, and has two commas. One two before commas. which and, and yeah. one after Bazaar. Uh -huh. One before which, so after Istanbul. Correct, uh, after correct. Istanbul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after Bazaar. Let me check this. And a period, right? And a period. Yeah, at the end. Okay. Woo, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, then the other ones I have it. Right. Thank you. Okay. So it's okay, number two? You Did you? Yeah. Did it work? Um, okay. I'm done with section B. I'm just waiting section C and section, the last one, it's E. Okay. Section, section D, I'm, I'm almost done too. Great. Okay. That's Thanks. excellent. That's excellent. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, is have an issue or, or a question about any sections? Don't be scared. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, 1.6, 1.8, whatever. <laughs> We're here to help, so. I think we are ready for the party. <laughs> yeah, 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 ready for the cookies. <laughs> for the cookies. Coach? Yeah, Jose. I was turned down today from a call center. Oh, sorry to hear that, Jose. Yeah. The thing is, they won't hire people that have been deported. Uh, sorry. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know. I need to find a call center coach that no, accept. The, that's, uh, going, that's going to be difficult because most, most call centers now, they don't care why you were deported. They, if you have a record of deportation, they, they don't accept you. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. Because I went to uh, one link, mm -hmm. and they also, they also, as soon as I say, you know, they, they ask me, where did you learn the, uh, your English? I say, uh, my English is from the States. And they were like, okay, uh, they, they give it a thought first, and they say, you know, uh, if you want to, you can leave your number here, but uh, we will not be able to, like, continue with the interview. So 
they were I was asked to leave the number and yeah. uh, they never contacted me yeah so it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge um, yeah. I don't know I I, I I don't know maybe any somebody here has heard of a, of a call center the only one that I've heard that they is a little bit more open-minded is Sykes I just got a refuse from that one mm -hmm. really yeah I just got re rejected from that one yeah today yeah. Yeah, because they're the only ones that they were before. They're the ones who were op more open-minded and they, they accepted applications and, you know, yeah, but not, not even Sykes. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to oh. be pretty hard. Yeah. 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 Really. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Uh, I guess, but that don't keep me from wanting to achieve my goals. So it's, I mean, if I ever go back to the States, Mm -hmm. I want to be able to like fly, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I want to sound like a native speaker and, you know, I got to work on my pronunciation. Really yeah. talking that fast, it's not, it don't help. No. You need to like make sense of what you're saying and, you know, express yourself very well. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I know I have to work a lot to better my English. Okay. All right. Well, well. Well, uh, let me see. If maybe there's some place else they can have, and if I find out of another place, I'll let you know. Please, um, that would be so kind. Sure thing. Sure thing. Anybody else have any uh, questions about any anything in the platform or any of the exercises? Okay, great. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our time today. We're gonna go back. We're gonna review. Um, the course, what we're going to focus on is the conversations in the videos. So um, as you see from starting in, even in section one, uh, there's parts where uh, we have the videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the videos and with your partners, you're going to uh, act out the conversation, act out the dialogue. Now, when you get to the dialogues, the idea is not only uh, practice repeating them or saying them, okay, but also try to include a little bit more. Now, the issues that not all of them or at least not all of the videos have a conversation because um many of the videos that we saw in this course specifically at, at this level are more related to grammar right they're more about oh verbs are followed with gerunds or verbs are followed with you know in infinitives or modal verbs or things like that so the important is to go through them um the videos uh, as an example, in I'll show you the first video that we had. Hang on, let me share the screen with you so everybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. This is from our video from 1.1. Okay, verbs followed by gerunds. Okay. So and here we're just gonna start asking and we're gonna have a conversation with our partners. We're gonna interview them. Okay. So imagine Oscar is my partner. I say, hey, okay, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of. Hey, Oscar, are you afraid of giving? I'm going to change this sentence into a question, and I'm gonna ask Oscar. Oscar, are you afraid of giving speeches in front of the class? Uh, no, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of class. Okay. What about at work? <laughs> and you see. I continue, I don't just use the statement. I continue with asking more information. Oh, what about at work? Or uh, have you ever had to do it in front of a lot of people in Spanish? Go ahead, Oscar. Um, what about at work? Have you have to give a speech at work? Yeah, like, um, yes, I have to give speeches at work like twice a week. That's why you lost the fear of giving speeches. Yeah, you have to go to different areas to talk about with uh, employees and tell them to come to the clinic and teach them how to brush their teeth and healthy rules and... How to brush um, your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> you know, basic things about um, mouth health that uh, unfortunately it's a big problem in our countries, not not just El Salvador, I mean Central America, South America, Mexico. I'm sorry, Oscar, what do you do? I'm a dentist. Oh, <laughs> okay, that makes sense, okay, yeah. so okay. I work in the morning for ANDA, mm -hmm. and then I go to my clinic. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Oinanda provide us courses because of Insofort. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's true, but even it, it, even to get some equipment, some uh, some dental hygiene equipment in El Salvador is difficult. It's, yeah, it's true. You, I, for example, I, I have, um, I, I am getting a, a what is it, a, a home cleaning kit for for whitening that you put oh. with a with a UV light. It's like a little light, and uh, I don't I don't remember what is the the chemicals, but we don't have it in El Salvador. I can't find. I had to buy in the states and bring to El Salvador. We have it here, but some dentists uh, make the business with that. Uh -huh. and it's not recommended to do it by yourself. I mean, that's the philosophy in the U.S., right? To buy those things and... And do it at home. Yeah, the home kids. Yeah, because that was they show you the TV. But it's not good because, I mean, your teeth, that's for everybody, for the class. <laughs> your teeth is something natural. It's not a wall like you're going to paint it every year. Right? <laughs> that's right. Well, we so can try. We can try. <laughs> after many tries, you're going to get a lot of problems on your... On your your smile and your teeth oh so, classmates don't do that don't do that you see i mean you can do a cleaning a widening each five years each eight years but not not yearly oh okay okay and before that to have an a treatment uh how do you say Un tratamiento exitoso. Uh, a successful treatment a successful treatment you should um you don't have to have curious on your teeth. Your, all your gums and your mouth should be really, really clean. And also, you, 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 all your mouth needs to be on good conditions or do a widening. If not, you help curious, you help other things to progress, and it's a big problem. Okay. Okay. Wow. You see that? And all of that, how did that happen? All of that is only from question number one that I asked Oscar, only for question number one. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to with our partners and we're gonna review those, those videos and we're gonna create those conversations and the dialogues. It's okay? Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's see. Ernesto, you okay? All right. Oh. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't have the chance to get hired. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, I, now I understand. Yeah. He's so sad because it's a kind of profiling what they are doing. But why don't you go to Santa Ana or Metapan to to ask for being a teach an English teacher class? I think so. I don't know. No, you have to have a degree for that. Oh really? And and uh, also show that uh, you're. I don't know. How do you say that, coach? Uh, what you have to show to prove that you are a teacher, your grades or something like that? It's Calafon. Calafon, yeah, that's it. And oh. Yeah, you have to have that. Well, but some 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 door is gonna open for you. I think so. I mean, English opens your door even in this country, like a tourist guide or. Uh, oh yes, that, that's that's an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. But Oscar is right because if if you contact the right, maybe right now it's a little difficult, but if you contact the the hotels in El Sonte and uh, La Libertad, they always need tourist guides and they need tourist guides that speak, uh, you know, that speak English fluently. 
this is and they don't care they don't care about backgrounds or other things they only care that you are professional responsible and do your job a license for you pick the tourist to the airport <laughs> and yeah. then you take the tour and go to I, yeah i won't have no problem buying a, a van also you know that that would be a good idea no they they have they they have vans they they give you many many of them uh the the, okay. uh, the tour guides the they they provide the van they have a driver and you're you're not the driver you're the guide um and oh, others really? yes and others that are small obviously if, if if they are small companies then yes you are the driver and the guide but uh, i for example i i have gone with my family and we have gone in these tours and they have two people one is the driver and the other it, only the responsibility is to drive to the different locations and the other is the okay. guy that that is with us and goes out and we went to antigua and they are telling us about here or we went to this other place and 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 that's that's the different function so depends you can apply and maybe both opportunities if you have a license is better because you have two opportunities for for big or small yes, companies i i do have a even even a, a big truck mm -hmm. i have a license for big, uh, like a 10 ton ah okay uh, yeah is, do so you have, heavy license is it an american license no no i switched it to uh, El salvadorian license okay good good Yes. So think about it. That Oscar has a great recommendation. Maybe that's something yes. that you should yes. think about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I think that means I wear uh, a yellow coat. Mm -hmm. And, I, and you combine I, it with your with your clothes or your boots. And um, in some kind of a store that you can buy uh, things. Uh, cheaper than the other ones. Okay, I imagine that. But uh -huh. did you combine your did you combine your your clothes with your coat or your boots? And yeah, I tried to combine, but I I I didn't like to to wear, for example, black coat or coffee coat. I prefer to buy different kind of colors. Okay, it sounds really good. So yeah. that res that answer the the first statement that we are in afraid of giving the speeches in front of the class. Uh, but in my, for example, <laughs> I, I I don't I really don't enjoy uh, giving a speeches, but for my work I have to. Uh, you are afraid. Uh, because I, I work in human resources. In the first day, I had to, to give, to, to give uh, the work. How do you say, teacher? La bienvenida to the new employees? Welcoming. I have to give welcoming. I have to give the welcoming. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I have I have to give the welcoming to the new employees, and I have to to tell them all all our politics and benefits. Okay, but this is one on one, mm -hmm. Karen, or no? This is not this is not like in in, in a group or something. Yeah, in a group, because sometimes uh, we hire every week 25 people. That's a lot of people you hire, Karen. That's a lot of people because I start a new, a new plant. So uh, this plant uh, for six months, every week I hire 25 more sometimes more than 25 and or what is your 30. job what is the or what is the what what do you produce Karen um uh t-shirts oh okay okay for like for the stores for whatever Walmart or something like that uh-huh uh I I worked for six years in Fruit of the Loom Oh, in San Juan Opico, oh, yes. or in yes, in in American Park, mm -hmm. and it it was it was a new plant, and I had to hire 
1,500 mm -hmm. people. Wow, Karen. That's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of people, a, a lot of names. But that's wonderful because there's a lot of people that need opportunities for jobs. Yeah, it, it makes me feel uh, good to hire many people and help them. Okay. Oh, that's great. Oh, I'll let you guys continue. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sam. But yes, I, I do have. Yeah, but you? Um, no, I have never, I have never done that because I cannot think, uh, I cannot sing. So no, I uh, uh, and a, uh, a speech. Ah, a speech. Yeah, yes. uh, uh, I ha I have done, I have done that. I have given speeches. Yeah, I remember when in high school, I had to do that because the teacher. Uh, one of my, of my social science teacher used to say, if you don't uh, make the presentation, you're in, uh, you're in going to uh, you're going to get a love grade. I remember. So even though I felt nervous, I had to do that. But uh, when I studied at the university, so I had to do that too, and also because uh, I studied. Uh, to teach too, so I, I have to give speeches. And also, uh, because I go to the church, sometimes I have given speeches in front of the of the uh, members of the church of the church too. And nowadays, do you get uh, do you get nervous or feel anxious? Yeah. Yeah, I recently had to give a speech uh, this uh, this last Saturday. Uh, I had to give a speech in the church because I go to the Adventist church on the seventh day. And I got really nervous. I don't know, but when I am in front of the of public, I feel nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's quite normal, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, how about you, do you <laughs> How about you? Do you feel nervous when you speak in front of public? Sorry, sorry, yeah. Elias. Just, a, just a question. Sorry, Elias. Uh, which, yeah. which church do you go to? The, which Adventist church do you go to? I go to Adventist church in uh, the 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 city or the place where where the church is located. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Sonsonate. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. I yeah. was curious. I used to. Uh, I used to teach English to uh, the Adventist Church near uh, here in San Salvador. Ah, in El Model. Uh, no, no, I don't remember how to. What is no, the, the name? Of the the, uh, well, the one that I used to go to is uh, the. It's near Parque Infantil. Uh, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And I used to go there, so I thought, hey, 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 maybe you still know some of the people there, but okay, Sonsonate is really, really far, so different. Yes, yes. <laughs> I know some people over there because uh, some of some of my uh, classmates in high school are pastors, and some of them, uh, I have seen them, uh, that they are uh, around that church in San Salvador. I I don't know if you know Jeremias Ramos, uh, and, uh, a doctor that uh, dead in this pandemic. Oh no 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 I, I didn't know I, I didn't know no but oh, okay. but in this pandemic a, a lot of people have been dying it's it's very dangerous. Yeah yeah okay I thought you you knew knew him because he's a member of the church where you. Where, where I used to go there, yes, in Jeremias. Yeah. I, it, the name sounds correct, but I can't remember the face. That's why I... Oh. I, I mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'll, let, I'll let you guys continue. But thank you. Thank you, okay. Elise. Thank you, my coach. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. To have my own opinion, you know. Even though, like, like it, it won't be, like, good for the mood or something like that. Okay. Hello? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> the number five, right? 
Um, I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. Well, I somewhat agree, but I must say that that is not true. I wish, but like, I don't know, we're like too busy, like studying and working that I don't have too much time. So I wish I would be in that way, but I don't, I, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I definitely disagree. And it's not because I am a people. I am not a people. A person that doesn't care about or about my friends. And it's because it's because sometimes the people doesn't doesn't earn or doesn't win that that time for that you spend helping them. So maybe it can depend on the people. If so, if it is my friend, yeah. And it's a really good friend. Uh, I... cap, I have no idea, but I left that at the end. It was the only word to, to what, what left, it? so I put it there. <laughs> what oh, really? Percap, what is it? Percap, I find that going to the gym during my lunch, my lunch hour helps me to perk up at work. Coach, I, no I think you are uh, just in time. Can you help us on that? <laughs> okay, I'm I'm listening. I'm listening to it. I I, I, I don't know which which section you're you're in yet, though. But uh, we have um, no clue what the, the meaning of the section word. Section C. Perk up. Yeah. Section. Perk up. Mm -hmm. Section C. Okay. And Part two. Perk up. I didn't know that word. P E R K U P. Oh, perk perk up. Huh? Okay. There there. Let me take a look. There are two different perks. Um, what number? Section two, right? Yeah. No, okay. Question number three. Okay. Burnt out. Oh, question. I'm, I'm going. I'm. I find that going to the gym during my lunch hour helps me to. Per ah. Okay. In this case, it's a different perk up. In this case, the um, uh, the meaning of perk up here is to wake up, to get more energy, to be more active. Mm -hmm. Okay. And another situations perk up means to be happy. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you tell someone, hey, Jose, you need to perk up. Don't worry about it. the job interview. Okay. Perk <laughs> up means, you know, it's okay. You know, uh, change the change the topic. Don't be sad about it. You know, put on a happy face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was telling them, I, I must confess that perk up, I didn't have an idea what it was. And, and, and I, I let the rest of them before, and that was the only one missing, so I put it there and was right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's the, that's the technique, right? When you don't know, you go to the next, and the ones at the end, then you discover, you, you try to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that helps sometimes. That's what I do. Let's say I don't know the meaning of the word, I, I leave that for the end, to the end, you know? At the end, thing. At the end, yeah. And now I know what is per cup. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, we learn something now in the group. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you avoid expressing your feelings and ideas in public? Hmm. No. No, I I didn't participate. I didn't like to participate. Uh, during my my university life or <laughs> my university classes <laughs> i just prefer to to ask to my to my uh, classmates oh what uh, for example what uh, the teacher is talking about or oh, can you explain it please mm -hmm. okay sounds good and you it's something that I that I could say too because I used to to act that way too when I was going to university. I mm -hmm. participated a lot and if someone didn't understand something, I asked to the teacher or or if I know the topic, I explained to my peers too. So mm -hmm. It's not that difficult to express ideas, but 
feelings in public, like crying a lot just because you wanted to? No. <laughs> or laughing a lot? No. Uh, I that's think that's nice. not necessary. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, that's nice. And next, um, do you insist on making your own decisions? Uh, what is the question? Do you insist on making your own decisions? Hmm. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Soy mandona. <laughs> I'm bossy. Yes, bossy. I'm bossy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, I try not to do, not to be bossy, but maybe it, I don't know. Uh, people always tell me you are bossy, but uh, I didn't, I didn't mean it. But <laughs> maybe because I, I, I told them maybe because of my tone. Your tone voice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, my, 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 tone, my, my tone voice, but... My tone of voice, tone of voice. Uh, my tone, tone of voice. Of voice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But uh, even my mother tell me you are, you, you are bossy, everyone. Maybe they, maybe they are right. I have... Maybe you work. are, maybe, maybe it's not the tone, Karen. Maybe it's not the tone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. No, no. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh -huh. If different people say the same to you, something is happening. <laughs> Maybe. And they're right. They're right. Uh -huh. But that's your personality. Yeah, that's my personality. And I'm I'm trying to 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 be a better person, not 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 to be bossy. Maybe be kind and polite. I'm trying to do it. I think it, I think it has a lot to do with your tone. And, and for example, for me, I, I'm not bossy in English. If you hear my tone and my voice, I, it's not a bossy person. But in Spanish, my tone is very bossy. Ah. Mm -hmm. Because my wife and my children say, is, you sound very angry in Spanish. And I say, I don't know why, but it's, <laughs> if, but when I speak to them in English, it's okay. It's, it's no problem. They, they don't feel, I don't know, they don't feel attacked or they don't feel that I'm being mm -hmm. uh, angry with them or something. But in Spanish, they say that, yes, they feel that uh, I am very, I don't know, uh, um, they say cortante or, or rude or something like this. And I told them, uh -huh. and I, I realized, and I, I told them, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's not that I, I, it's not that I plan to be, it's just, it, this is how it works out the way, maybe it's the words that you choose sometimes, you don't think about them and, and then it sounds like you're trying to be a little bossy. Or maybe because I am, I, I, I am direct, direct, direct. Yeah. I, I say the things direct. Uh, I don't like to 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 uh, how can I tell you? To poner muchas branches. flores a lo que digo. <laughs> yeah, to, to, yes. In English, it's called beat around the bush, but exactly. How do you say in English? Is it's called beat around the bush. Mm. It's mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's an expression. I'm going to put it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Ah, beat around the bush. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And maybe for this, you know, it's because um, maybe this is what it is because the, this is how I, I speak in Spanish. Like I speak in English, direct but nice, but. They, I guess people are used to, you know, going around and being and, yeah, I don't know. But it's our personality, Karen. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my personality, teacher, but I, I, I need to be more polite. 
Sometimes, sometimes. All right, I'll let you guys continue. Go ahead. <laughs> but what do you prefer, the, the mountains, or you prefer the, the nature, or, or like going to around the beach, uh, going to restaurant or something? What do you prefer? Mm, well, that's a little bit difficult to to get a decision, but I I choose the the mountains. I love uh, walking in in the in the nature, feeling the feeling the air, uh, taking a lot of pictures of the nature, the trees, the flowers because I I do. I really love nature and I prefer, for example, camping, uh, I don't know, uh, relaxing in a different way, like you could, you can do that in the beach, for example. And I don't like the, that feeling when you're, when you're in the beach and you're like, um, you feel like a, the salt in your body. I don't know if 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 you get it, but I don't like to 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 feel that way. Okay. How, I prefer how, mountains. How, have you ever been to El Cerro Verde? Yes, I really love that place, and I I want to I want to go there, but not 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 today because of COVID nineteen, as I said before you before. Yeah. And you, what do you prefer? The beach, the mountains, yeah, or maybe, I, the, I don't I, know how, how to say that, teacher, like pueblos? The towns. Towns. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. For I example, like Ataco, it was, uh -huh. it's a town. Yes, Ataco is a town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like the small towns. Mm -hmm. Ah, small towns. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I used to visit those places. I live uh, in Sonsonate, and Sonsonate is, is mm -hmm. near Apanek, Ataco, and, and those places where the, the weather is very nice. And also, when my father was uh, dead, I, uh, how do you say enterrar my uh, buried or buried? Buried. Uh, buried, okay. Mm -hmm. In Ataco, my father is, is buried over there. So I used to go to attack with a, it's a very nice place, beautiful place. There are many us where you can uh, get fun, get relaxed. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the good part to live in a little town, for example, in your case, because because I live in the in this in, in the city and and if if I want to go to a place uh so a place for example a beach or in a mountain as uh, those places are are here far away from the city so maybe you uh sometimes you you need not only one day you need like two or three days i don't know if you want to to go uh for example in la union or san miguel you need more days to to do that yeah, tourists. So. Okay, quiero ver otra vez. I used to be a good chess player, but now I, I am I am not as good as I was. I am more. Me, ¿qué podría decir? I am more. Um, more likely to play video games now mm -hmm. and I enjoy um, playing my instruments. Okay, okay. So, um, um, I think that teenagers really like Anime, but when I was at school, I wasn't interested at all in that. I mean, the only anime that I watched was, um, uh, I forget the name. Uh, Sailor Moon? You know this? No, no, no. no teacher, the one that was um, 
it was a fox. The main character was a fox, and oh, I should. How, how did I forget it? Oh, yeah, I can't remember. But it's really famous and old. Inuyasha, Inuyasha is. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's the only one that I saw when I was a teenager. But now I'm really into it. I watch, I watch a lot of anime and read mangas and manguas. Uh, yeah, so I'm now I'm more interested in that. Ah, sí que sí se usa eso. Quiero ver. O sea, ¿qué puedo decir? <laughs> puedo decir. No, because, yeah, I, I forget, I mean, I lost my ideas and then I, I reminded that I had to, <laughs> you know. No, es que, no te juro que este tema creo que no estuve ese día en la clase. Yeah, Así. maybe you, yeah. But I remember that we practice, so that's, that's easier. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. okay, so the way you use, used to is that before you did the action and now it, now you do not do the action. If you say, I didn't use to, is before you didn't do the action, and now yes. So like Gladys, Gladys didn't use to watch uh, anime. Automatically you understand that now yes, Gladys watches anime. Uh -huh. Y la de abajo en la que dice, I'm interested in, la puedo hacer junta con el con las primeras o sea poder por ejemplo I used to be a good soccer player uh -huh. but now I'm interested in uh, qué quiero ver video games exactly yes you can combine uh -huh. oh okay yeah. okay okay good good <laughs> okay otro ejemplo quiero ver vamos a ver and immediately began the process for claiming the son. And okay. less than two years, she came to pick him up. Oh yes, that, that's, that's good. So I, she needed really to prove it. that she could uh, support him. Uh, meanwhile, he was uh, finishing to study and, and, and getting a job. No, he, he just finished it, the, the high school but uh, he was not at university yet. And, mm -hmm. and, and she said that she put the whole process and she told me that were less than two years took the process. Yeah. So maybe know. you could back soon. Meanwhile, you keep learning more English <laughs> because sometimes <laughs> I can see you can, you can speak English. And, sí. and sometimes we can, we know so many words or, or can say something, but when they ask us to write, that is different. <laughs> Sometimes a little bit challenging. My, my, goal, my goal is to be able to install solar panels. So I want to be able to like go over there and I don't know, work for myself or start a company and uh, install solar panels on, on houses. In the know, US? In the US, yes. Because uh -huh. it says for the, I don't know, for the future, or maybe not the future, maybe 10 years from now, it's gonna be like LA is gonna be like, most of the houses is gonna be solar panels, you know, installed. So yes, that's that's one of my goals, coach. I, I, I get in my electrical license next month, and hopefully I start working and then uh, get my industrial license and then be able to keep working on my solar panels. You know. Yeah, you should practice here in El Salvador, installing the solar panels. Yes, that's uh, uh, that's my goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we and have then, se uh, we have several companies that install solar panels. You do? You guys okay. do? In El Salvador, yeah, lots uh, no, of companies. No, I mean, I mean, I, I, I thought you were like you know some. Uh, the only ones, the the only one that I know for is, but he works for a, I think it's a Swiss company. Um, okay. And they and they do a solar panel studies, not solar panel okay. installment, which is okay. a little bit different. Because he's an engineer, so he they come to El Salvador, and they use El Salvador in some places for testing their solar panels and what can be optimum conditions. Because El Salvador, it really for the position, has a has a lot a lot of light. Uh, so, yeah. so you know it, it's. Uh, 
I, I know people in, in the sector, but not that install the solar panels. They're, they're usually the engineers that collect the data and do all of that, uh, you know, uh, research for it, okay. how efficient is that uh, polycrystalline or monocrystalline and which one is more efficient and all of this type of stuff. Yes. Um, uh, in Santa Ana, where mm -hmm. I used to live, they have uh, like a big, big uh, section where they install like i don't know how many solar panels but it's like it's a lot i mean uh, they work on it almost so i don't know i don't know but it's big yeah I it's in the newspaper i know I, i've seen it is the, the big for like five uh five megawatts of of, uh, of energy or something like this yes uh and it was close where i, I used to live okay. yeah so maybe it take me about 15 minutes walk to get to the, where the solar panels are. Yeah, so it's not very far from where I used to live. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Even if I don't schedule my, my time to go out, I try to be on time or mean some minutes ago, some minutes before, the the time that I agree with a person or my appointment, but I'm not worried about that. No, so yeah. I just get ready and I go out. I don't spend too much time doing some other things for going out. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know what what I, I have two friends and my boss too, that they are never on time. And I, for example, I send a WhatsApp and, and tell her, uh, we have a meeting at 9.30, for example, it's nine. Okay. I am telling you because just to be on time. And she always appear, I don't know, appear mm -hmm. at, 9.45, for example. Oh, gosh. <laughs> for me, it's yeah, just, views. <laughs> for, for me, it's, it's a lack of professionalism. She, yes. doesn't, she doesn't know how to manage time. And if she doesn't know uh -huh. how to manage time, she's probably not a very good manager. Because a good manager knows exactly how long things are going to take and what time you need to do. And I, I used to work at a company um, it was a, a foreign company and the manager was very strict about leaving. They said you at five o'clock, we finish the office closes. If you are not finished with your work, that is your problem because you have all day to organize your time. You need to be a professional and organize your time. So I learned, I learned how to be in, in, in I, I thought it was a, I thought it was very hard, but it's a good lesson because really you learn how to be organized. You not how not, yeah. to, how not to waste time and, they say, and, and especially for foreigners, for foreigners, it's a, it's a lack of respect because for us, it's a, for many Salvadorians, oh, I'm late. I have excuse, the traffic, that, that whatever. But for the others, is my time is valuable. If, if I am here on time, I expect you to be on time. But, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. I, I, I agree with, with, with you. I, I, I don't like people who, who always say, I'm sorry. Uh, the traffic, I'm sorry to be late, An but... accident. Aha, uh -huh, <laughs> an accident. Uh, no, no, no. I think that they are uh, uh, maleducados. <laughs> yes, they're, 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 yes, they don't have manners or... I, I, I agree with you. I, and I always, I, uh, I always think, okay, if it happens one time, everybody can happen one time. But if this person always, 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 I don't even listen to them because no, no, no. Why, why give me the excuse? This is an excuse. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said, you need to organize your, and I have said, and maybe for this is why God and you and I sound busy because we are direct. Uh, because I, I am direct. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, look, I live farther and I was here on time. So there is no excuse for me. But oh, let's yeah. be, now that you are here, let's begin. Let's continue. And, and then, and and, and the people don't like, but it's, it's true many times, the people that live farther or that have to come from different activities and they are there first and the people that are closer are later, no. No. Mm -hmm. 
And you discover that everything that the person says is just a habit because it's a continuous excuses and excuses for everything. For not doing their job, for having yes. bad sales, for the and 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 for getting drunk. <laughs> yeah, everything. And 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 even and then they and I don't know. I, I, I just don't like these type of people. I think it, it for me it, it, it shows the character of the person a lot. Yeah. Uh, for me it happens to me a lot when when for the interviews. And and and, and people don't 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 uh, show up. Don't what? Don't uh, don't go or don't show up and no aparece. Ah, yeah, don't show up. Uh -huh. <laughs> people don't show up and even they don't uh, call me and, and, and explain the situation. And they don't care. Yeah, I, I, especially for me, especially, especially in the job interview, you have to be there early. You don't say, oh, I, I, the, the meeting's at four o'clock. I can be there at, at 3.55. No, if it's at four o'clock, my responsibility is to be there at 3.45. Is is to be there 15 minutes early. But, uh, yes. Yes, I agree. But it's, it's our culture, right? The, Okay, guys, we're, everybody's almost back. Okay. We're back. Great, great to see that. All right. Well, we're going to pause there. Um, like I said, everybody should be or almost is complete. So please, if you do have any questions, if something is not clear, try to do the exam today uh, try to finish if you haven't finished that way if you have a question or if there's something that you need help with we can still help you tomorrow remember that this module is going to be very short uh, we finish and then we begin and that means that on friday the office is already doing the grades they're already doing the paperwork mm -hmm. so is is not time for oh i can do it another day or i can do something else i can turn it in late mm -hmm. so so if you haven't finished try to finish and if you need help ask for help ask for help that's why we're here okay how can coach how can i find out if i make uh for the next course you can call the office directly and say your name or you can write to jonathan i recommend calling because you have contact immediately and in writing like jonathan put in the what's up they have thousands of students and they are going to get to you when they get to you especially this week okay mm -hmm. so the the number because I need, I may need to to call them too for ask for information. Mm -hmm. Do you have the number, or is it here in the WhatsApp? It's in the WhatsApp. It's in the WhatsApp in the in the phone numbers that we put yesterday. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. I will look What's, for that. Thank you. I I may need to look for some information about the next course. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let me. Uh huh. There's three numbers that are there: Jonathan, Jason, and Elena. You can contact any of them. And then I'll look for the office number and try to put it in. Okay. All, All right. We look for. Thank you. Okay, guys. Have a great night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B